Hey everyone, and welcome back. I showed you in the last video how to create a pretty cool overlay. And I want to show you another way we can actually create an alternative to that overlay method. So Figma generally has this one method for creating an overlay, but you can actually do that by creating another frame rather than having an independent frame for this overlay. So let's actually jump right in and I'll show you how to do that. So what we wanna do is we're going to keep this frame. We have the overlay description inside of it. So we'll keep that there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it and we'll go backwards in time. I'm gonna grab the controls from here and put them there. And then I'm going to grab the overlay description and bring it all the way up. So there is one of the overlay descriptions and I actually have it so you can expand it. You'll see it here as well. And I'd really love to see how everyone takes a stab at this when it comes to the overlay. I've just put some basic information there about the, the pizza that we're selling, but I would really love to see if you can create a little more interactivity in that overlay. Right now I have just an add button, but it'd really be cool to see if people would make an add button plus the ability to add maybe more than one pizza, that would be really cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to expand this frame like that. And I'm gonna do something really cool here. I'm gonna actually have this image inside this frame react to this expanding. So let me show you how to do that as well. First, we gotta find those carousel dots that disappeared. So let's find those, there they are. So we're gonna just bring them all the way up. So there they are. And we're gonna take the image here and we're just going to bring it in like that. And we'll increase the gradient. Just gonna bring it up like that. Okay. We can actually do something pretty cool here. I'm just gonna delete this frame because we already have it. And we'll bring this back. So let's start linking this together. I wanna show you a couple of different things we're gonna do here. First, we're gonna do a drag interaction on this overlay. So we'll just select the overlay and select this frame as a destination and we'll apply on drag, smart animate. Let's do something like 350. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna apply an on drag. We'll do 350 as well to this destination. So one thing about copying frames, it's gonna copy the prototype link attached to it. So let's jump in. So we have one millisecond going into there. I think 300 is fine for now. And then let's do this back option. So like I said, you can't actually use this option in this scenario because this overlay will block it, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. This is the one way to get around it. Because generally when you have an overlay, you want the user just to focus in on the overlay, but it's been used as a design pattern much more recently. Let's just set it to 250. We're gonna set this. And like I was saying, this has been used as a design pattern, more of like a design style, just to 
give the illusion of an overlay, but bring a lot of focus to one part of this screen. But users should still be able to interact with this if they want to swipe to see more pictures. You all know how to already do that. But this is going to be pretty interesting because we're going to kind of work our way back from this starting point while also interacting with this overlay. So we'll just call this overlay continued. And let's jump right in and see how that turned out. So here we are. Okay. So we can drag and that's pretty cool. We have the image actually shrinking and the carousel dots moving with the overlay. So that's really great. So you can just gently drag it to see the nice subtlety of the animation and duration. And then if we click back, so let's do that again. If we click back, we're gonna see this overlay shrink into the bottom and off the screen. And we're gonna see these controls all remove themselves from the screen as well. So they'll just dissolve because I don't have them in this secondary frame where it's black. And then that will just go back to this button, which is really smooth. And that is an alternative way to create an overlay and some pretty cool parenting techniques when it comes to how the different UI elements interact with other elements that you can interact with.